Alright, so if you remember, there are two types. Quantitative. Oops. Wrong spelling. Right. No, I'm nearly right. <laughs> uh, and then qualitative. And the quantitative, you can have continuous or discrete. And then the qualitative can be ordinal or nominal. You remember this? Yeah. So, for example, continuous, that could be like somebody's height. Because yeah. remember we said continuous means if you have this height and this height, mm. you can have a height in the middle. Yeah. And then discrete is not like this. Mm -hmm. Only certain values like shoe, uh, shoe size. You can have a five, mm -hmm. you can have a five and a half, mm -hmm. but not the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ordinal, this is a name with an order, like gold medal, silver medal, bronze medal at the Olympics. And then nominal is a name with no order, like eye colour. Please write that down um, to help you remember. You can remember now? Yeah. yeah. Um, for a last talk, um, I have already said all, all the names or numbers. It's um, usually a name. a name. But sometimes it can be like a number, like a bus number or a telephone number, because the bus number is like the yes. bus name. And the telephone number is like the telephone name. Yeah. yeah. It's usually a name. Like the name of an eye colour, you know. Okay, you got this? Um, no, 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 mm -hmm. number. No. Means the name also. But no order. I give you an example. And um, April, if you were at the Olympics in Beijing, whatever, would you like gold, silver, or bronze? You would like gold the most, yeah? So this has an order. Gold is better than silver. Silver is better than bronze, yeah? But if I said, uh, I don't know, something without an order, like uh, eye colour. Is brown eyes bigger than blue eyes? No, it's just brown eyes, it's just blue eyes. There's no, there's no order. Mm -hmm. This is nominal, there's no order. Ordinal has an order. You see, like, look at it, look at the name. Ordinal is like the word order. See? Mm -hmm. And then you can remember nominal is like no mm -hmm. order. You see, it looks nominal, no order. Ordinal, order.
We can remember? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'll just give you, let's say, um, money, income. Which one is income? How much money you make? Your wages. Order. Order. Order, no. Yeah. No, 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 no. Remember, qualitative is usually for names. Uh, and quantitative is for numbers. Uh, ah, yes. Yeah. So income. Continue. Discreet. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Number of brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Which is that? Number. Number. How many brothers and sisters? Discreet. Discreet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, how many classes you have per day? Mm -hmm. How many classes every day? Discreet. Because you have four classes a day. But maybe you could have three and a half classes. <laughs> so maybe it could be continuous. Mm -hmm. You get the idea? Yeah? Okay. So uh, we can continue. I hope we remember this. Yeah? Um, let's continue with the next topic. Um, okay. This, if you remember, is called types of data. Yeah, so you have four types. Four types of data. Yeah? So the next thing we want to do is then how do we get this data? How do we get this data? Yeah, how do we get data? Survey. Survey. You know this word? Survey? Mm -hmm. What's a survey? Um. You know what it is though? Yeah. How can you explain it? Talk to each person. Yeah, you can talk to people to get information. So survey, um, this is when you try to get information from people. Um, and you said, for example, you could talk to them to get information. So I could say, you know, how many brothers and sisters do you have? How many do you have? How many do you have? But there's other ways to get the information. You could give them questionnaire. You know what a questionnaire is? It's a list of questions. Have you done any questionnaires recently for anyone? Like um, maybe at, this, at the shop or on the mm. bus? Has anyone done a questionnaire recently? Yeah, how much did I close? Oh, where did you do this? In a clothes yeah. shop. In the clothes shop, they gave you a questionnaire, was it? Okay, how many questions? Yeah, how many questions? 10, 20? Maybe 10. Maybe 10, good, okay. Anyone else? Andy? Mm -hmm. The satisfied hotel. Oh, okay, so you stayed at a hotel and then after they ask you, were you happy with your stay? Yeah, so you, everybody um, understands questionnaire? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and there's other ways to do it as well. Uh, I'll just do one more. Focus group. Mm -hmm. Do you know focus group? Maybe not. Focus group is when you get people together, like you. You get four or five people together and you talk to them about something. Like uh, if I worked in the canteen, I might get you together and I might say, tell me what you think of our coffee. How do you think we can make it better? You know, um, what do you like? What do you not like? This is a focus group when you get the, the people together to talk about it. So these are our three ways you can get uh, information. Talk to them one to one. Yeah, like just one to one like this. Yeah. Is that the drawer? No. No?
Yeah, come on. Is that <laughs> trouble? Yeah. Yeah, I heard. Maybe you can go over there. Yeah. Uh, and there's one last way, actually, a uh, very important way nowadays online survey. Yeah. Um, which is the cheapest way? Yeah. Online survey is very cheap. Which is the most expensive? Cost the most money to do? I think talk to them one to one because it takes a long time to do. You have to pay someone to talk to them one to one. Yeah. Okay, and what about um, um, focus groups that and questionnaires? Questionnaires here, this is quite cheap because you can just print out the questionnaires and I can give them to you and then later I can come back and take the questions back. So questionnaire and online survey is cheap, you know, five, ten euros only. But talking is expensive. Yeah. Okay. Can you um, write these four examples down? Did you write them down? Let me put this on a new page. Um, page break. Ah, oh, go away. There we matter. So what we're doing, Jason, is we're learning the different ways you can get data. Survey. Yeah. So we have four examples so far. All right. Did you write this down? Yeah. You are the fastest. Yeah. Good job. We are waiting for everyone else. Ready? Yeah. Yep. Yeah? Okay. Um, April, need more time? Might be okay. Yeah. Okay. It's okay? All right. Um, does anybody know um, this word? Chalky. No. No. <laughs> but first, how do you say it? Um, sampling. Sampling. Does anyone know what this word means? Oh, no dictionary. <laughs> sampling. Does anybody know? Good guess, but no. <laughs> no. So sample as a verb. That means um, to take a small group from a uh, large group, usually of people. So for example, if we have 100 students in the school, then a sample 
uh, would mean I take maybe 10 students and talk to 10 students. So you have sample means like um, you take a small piece yeah. and you talk to these people. Mm. Yeah. So that's sample as a verb and then you can have sample as a noun. That is the small group. Um, so you could say something, although don't say this, um, you could say um, sample a large group. Is that a verb or a noun in my example here? Is this no. verb or noun? Uh, is it a noun? No, it's a verb. Verb? Yeah, because I'm telling you, for example, sample um, some students for me, please. That's a verb. Yeah, um, it's like me saying, Talk to some students, please. Uh, Get information from some students, please. In here, somehow it is talk, like talk. Get information, yeah. Uh, so, here, I'm using it as a verb in this sentence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, simple. I think it's a simple. No. <laughs> <laughs> simple. <laughs> Not simple. You look confused, yeah. Um, how many students are in DIFC? Do you know how many? There's maybe about 150. Oh. No, no, just this school. <laughs> 150. In this school, wow. DIFC, your school. Uh -huh. If I said sample some students, that means maybe you take five students mm -hmm. and you talk to five students. Do you like this school? Um, what subject will you study? Um, what time do you study? You know, get information from them. So this here, I'm using it as a verb. How do I use it as a noun? Let me show you an example with a noun. So this is as a verb. And then... Pick some students for sample. Good man. Pick some students for a sample. And that's for as a noun. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? Good, we're learning English. Great, okay. <laughs> so can you write this down? This is sample. Got this? Yeah. Including my two sentences? Yeah. <clears throat> April, you have this? Yeah. Great. So that's a sample. Yeah. Do you know this word? You know this word. Great. Explain it. Well, firstly, how do you say it? How do you say this word? Random. Random? Mm hmm. How to explain it? Random. <laughs> Not quite. Random. Yeah. Um, really wrong. 
Huh? No, I don't think so. Um, Greensboro Hope? We circle? No. Any ideas, Andy? So if I had, for example, here. Difficult. Yeah. Yes, a difficult explain. If I have a coin here, look, and then I flip it, it could be one side or the other side. Do you know which side it will be? No. no. Because it's random. Maybe heads. Maybe heads, maybe tails. Um. Do you know what it will be? No. Because it's random. Mm -hmm. Or um, next month will it rain? Maybe, maybe not. Uh. You don't know because it's random. Got a toy. Huh? Got a toy. What? Got a toy. Uh, got, got a toy. God. 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 Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Not is. God is. Oh, God is? Yeah. Not God. God. He's <laughs> a guy. I what know. I know. Wait. Wait. What kind of way? W A Y. Oh! Yeah, you understand. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess, okay, yeah. Um, I think I know what you're trying to say. Um, yes, we, I know what you're trying to say. I'll tell you what it is in English. Um, what we say, okay? So what you mean God's way, it means uh, in, England, in Ireland we say only God knows. It's the expression. I don't listen to her. <laughs> um, well, it depends what she was using it for. What was she using it for? Like, how did she use it? It's for a baby. Ah, well, that's yeah. Okay, that's different. So for this, this you use for the future. Yeah, but um, this one here, maybe this is, yeah, you can use this one for when you're talking about maybe baby or children or yeah. something like this. So, like, will it be a boy? Yeah. Will it be a girl? Yeah. 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 But uh, I'm sorry to tell you this, but this is a very old way to, to use it, okay? So, um, I, think, I think most people would use this one. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is for um, random. Um, it means that you do not know what will happen. It's like um, it's like it's unknown, maybe. maybe possible, uncertain. You don't know. Can't yeah. I read on? I read on uh, a candle. Let me help you. Uh, firstly, random is an adjective. It's an adjective. So you could say, like, uh, for example, a random coin. That means you do not know if it will be heads or tails. You could have also a random bus. You do not know when it will arrive. Random bus. Random ball. Random ball. Lottery. Yeah. Or if it's like random football, for example, as well. You do not know where it will go. Do you get the idea for random? What about, what do you think about this random person? Random person? Yeah, random person. Uh, you do not know uh, who they are. Yes, yeah, yeah. You don't know who they are. You do not know who they are. So there's um there's um do you know this word um slang? Um 
slang, you know, like informal English, yeah. you know, like, you know, like, um, not proper English, mm -hmm. informal English, you know, like casual English, day-to-day -day English. Do you know any slang words? Bloody. Bloody, yeah, okay, yeah, good. Anything else? Do you know what I mean by slang words? Like, like words that maybe teenagers would say, you know? Life words. Yeah, like day-to-day -day life words. Do you know any? You know, like for example, cool, you know this one? Yeah. This is slang, yeah? Or like if I said, what's up? You know, awesome. <laughs> awesome, yeah, yeah, awesome, yeah. You know words like this? Uh, yeah. So uh, there's a slang word for random person. Yeah, no. The only people I ever hear saying this is Irish teenagers. So if you ever hear someone saying, look, you see, the, the program says this is a wrong word because it's, a, it's not a real word. But this word here means a random person, someone you don't know. So if I just said, he is some randomer, it means he is a person, I don't know who they are. His age is about. Huh? Age. Age? Yeah. No. It doesn't teenager. Matter. It's just usually teenagers use this word. You wouldn't hear Dennis using this word. <laughs> but Dennis would know this word. Know this word? Uh, everybody knows this word. So the word is not in the dictionary? Probably, well, I don't know. Maybe this year is in the dictionary. Or maybe next year. It's a new word. Uh, so yeah. Irish made this word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Irish teenagers. <laughs> yeah. You won't hear this in America, uh, okay? <laughs> it's local slang. But it's good to know these words when you talk to people. Uh, yeah? Okay. Um, so... Why? There is, there is a sun. Use the sun. His son long term. His son? Yeah. He is a son and a He is... Use, uh, uh, he is a randomer. You mean this? Yeah. Or he is uh -huh. a randomer? Yeah. yeah. That means I don't know who he is. Mm -hmm. I don't even mean, but I don't know why you use the sound. It's just, um, it's just a slang, you know, like it's bad English. Uh -huh. It's what, what uh, teenagers would say. And they use the word some here to make it sound more strong. You like, he is some randomer means I really don't know uh, who he is. Um, yeah. Like, uh, I really, I, I do like him. Like what? I do like him. Yeah, like the bad English, like this. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this means. He is really someone I don't know. Yeah. You got it? Look at all this bad English you're learning. It's great. Okay. Um, so did you write this? this? So this is random. Um, so maybe you can write, I think, if you can write this one down, at least. Uh, because this one is good for talking to people and uh, maybe at least this one but you don't need these two we'll get rid of these two okay so if you can get this please
You have this? Yeah. So who we are waiting for you? Just waiting for you. You have this April? Yeah. Okay. Continue? Yes, I'm Okay. So tell me, what do you think this is? Random sample. So this is what we'll do next. And we'll put this on a new page. What do you think this is? Random sample. Hmm. You know sample? Is it noun or verb here? Noun or verb in this one? Noun. Noun. And random is adjective. What do you think random sample means? Mm -hmm. You know what random means? It means you don't know what will happen. And you know sample? What sample? A group of people. So what do you think random sample is? What happened a group of people? No. <laughs> you don't have oh, yeah. people do that then where where are you can just in the spot in the street. Yes. So yes, yes, this is it. Good job, Jason. Yeah, random sample means you take people and you don't know who you will take. You just just pick people. Mm -hmm. You don't know who you will pick. Yeah? So this is a random sample. So this is um a group of people you pick without caring who you pick. So you pick people, but you don't care who you pick. You just pick like this. So another way you say this is you pick blind. means you just pick people. So this is a random sample. Yeah? Okay, so can you write that down, random sample? Good hot chocolate? Hot chocolate? Good hot chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> you have a very good breakfast. Hot chocolate, Snickers. It gives you lots of energy. And what's your drink? Uh, mocha. Mocha. Also like hot chocolate. <laughs> Got this? Yes. Okay. So let me um, give you some. We'll do some more. Let me just uh, open it up here. Um, workbook. And then statistics. And then. Types. Types of sampling. Come on. Okay. Types of sampling. Okay. Uh, let me close this. Right, so last time we saw that there were four types of data. Yeah. Continuous, um, discrete, discrete, ordinal, nominal. Try to remember. Yes? There are different types of sampling. So the first type is the simplest type. Simple random sampling. So this means 
you pick anyone um, uh, with equal chance. So I'll explain this. Here I have one, two, three, four, five people and I want a sample of two people. So this sample means um, I pick anyone and I could pick anyone. So we have one, two, three, four, five, so I could go one and two, or I could go one and two, or I could go one and two. I can pick anyone and everybody has the same opportunity to be picked, the same chance to be picked. If I only pick boys, so if I only go one and two, uh, yeah I know, but I pick two people, so I could go one and two, or I could go one and two, or I could go one and two. This is not simple random, because the two girls have no opportunity to be picked. So simple random means pick anyone with equal opportunity, equal chance. Okay. So can you write this name down? So this is the first one, simple random. Let's put this on a new page. Got this? Yeah? Okay. So the next one. Systematic sampling. So I'll explain this one with an example. So you have a street, maybe 100 homes, and it's too difficult to go to every home so you only go to some homes. So you go to house number one, not number two, house number three, not number four, house number five, not number six. What is this person doing? Uh, this is systematic. This means you have like a, a process, a like procedure, a system. A system. Yeah. No, just that um, um, you have a, a rule for who you pick. So, for example, um, I want to survey uh, students, but I don't want to ask everybody because there's too many students. So maybe I ask you, not you, you, not you, you. I, I have some rule for how I pick. You know, yeah. or maybe I go yes, no, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, no. I have a a rule, you know, uh, um, a process, a procedure. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> no. no. Um, yeah. Maybe it's <laughs> yes. Okay. Maybe it's ordinal. Yeah. So if it's ordinal, I have an order. Yeah. So I, but I don't pick everybody. Yeah. I skip some people. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I can go, one, no, 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 yes, no, 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 yeah. yes, no, no, no. So, here you have a, a rule, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you have a rule, an order, a system for picking people. So, for example, e.g., you go, for example, um, yes, no, 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 yes, no, 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 yeah. yes, no, no, no. You know, you have some way of picking people. 
Is this random? No, it's not random because you know who you're going to pick. I know I will pick you, not you, not you. I know I will pick you. So it's not random. So this is why random is not here. Yeah? You got the idea for this one? Normally pick. Hmm? Normally pick. Normally pick? What do you mean? We wouldn't say normally picking, um, just picking with a rule, with a, do you know this word, um, process or procedure or system, rule, method, do you know any of these words? Which um, word? Um, system. system? You know this word? This is what I mean. You pick, you pick with some system, some idea, like um, I pick every three people. Yes, no, no, yes, no, no. It's um, a pattern. Do you know this word? Yeah. It's difficult, I know, but it's good for your English. Is a system, yeah. Two, four, six, eight. True, false, true, false, true, false. Yeah. Yes, yes, no. Yes, yes, no. This is a system. Yeah? So like with the Starbucks, maybe Starbucks wants to talk to people. Do you like our coffee? So maybe they do it systematic. So maybe they say, okay, every three people we ask them to do our questionnaire. So she buys coffee, he buys coffee, then I buy coffee, and then they ask me. Then you buy coffee, you buy coffee, you buy coffee, and they ask you. So this is systematic. Yeah? Good, okay, we have this? Good, okay. <laughs> so it's just like um, long long symbol? No, not like random simple. No. Random simple. If Starbucks did random simple, it would mean you buy coffee, maybe they ask, maybe they don't ask. Like for example, maybe uh, you buy coffee and they go, okay, yes, we'll ask you. And then she buys coffee and then they go, okay, uh, no, we won't ask her. This would be random, simple random. Yeah? Can you see the difference? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, I believe you. Make sure I don't lose my money. Um, okay, next. Stratified random sampling. Yeah. So first write the word down and then I'll explain it. Stratified. I'm going to explain. <laughs> yeah? So, um, another word for stratified, if you want to put it this here, is a subgroup or a small group. So what you do for this one, you put people into groups. So maybe like Starbucks, they want to have five men and five women. So their customers are men and women, and they pick five here, and then they pick five here. Or if it's a school, I maybe want five Chinese students, 
five Arab students, whatever, uh, and I pick five from Chinese students and five from Arab students. So this is, this one is nearly the same as this one, except you pick people from different groups. So maybe you pick some Chinese students, maybe you pick some Korean students, maybe you pick some uh, Saudi students. So it's the same as simple random, but you pick from different uh, groups of people. Who, why might you want to do this? Why? It's age. You're from the age. Yeah, you could maybe pick people from different ages. So you could pick five people who are 20 to 30, five people who are 30 to 40. Different people need to different questions. That's it. Different people maybe need different questions or different opinions or whatever. Yeah. So this is maybe why you do it. So this one here, it is the same as number one, but you pick from different groups of people, like Chinese or young or old or um, boys or girls, whatever. Got this, yeah? Tired? Oh, you don't feel well? Oh dear. And you look tired. What time did you sleep at? Very late? Yeah. 12 o'clock? 1 o'clock? 2 a.m. <laughs> Very late, very late. Um, okay, you have this? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, next one. Yeah, how do you say it? Almost. Quota. 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 It is English. <laughs> it's Japanese. Quota. Why does quota mean something in Japanese? Um, that's a Japanese name. Is it really? Yeah. All right. Quota. Okay. So this is not Japanese sounding. <laughs> whoever you want uh, to form a sample. So for example, maybe I want uh, three boys and three girls. So I go, okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. Not random, I just pick people that maybe I know. Or maybe if I want five boys and ten girls, then I just go, okay, um, I call five people, boys, and I'll call ten girls. It's, it's not random, it's just you pick people that you know and that you want. Um, so it's, it's not random, it's just who do you know. What is the difference? The difference with, uh, with number two yeah. is in number two, um, well, I guess it's very similar, but in number four, you have in your mind how many boys you want and how many girls you want. So if I want five boys, I go, okay, one, two, three, four, five, and then I stop. I don't get any more boys because I have enough boys. Uh, so this is what quota means. It means what you want, what you would like. The difference is the order. Um, Difference is order, yeah. In two, you go, you have an order. But in four, you just pick people you like that you know. 
yeah? So this one, you know, maybe if you want to do some survey, you just pick people in this class. So this one is not random, just whoever you want, people you like, I don't know. Okay, not Japanese. <laughs> okay, next. Uh. Snowballing. Snowballing. Yeah, what's this? Yeah. Do you know Snowball? Snowball. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. Correct. Yes. So what do you think this means? You throw the questions at them, maybe, is it? <laughs> Any ideas? No. No ideas, yeah. Send them towards the question. Yes, yeah, throw the question. No, how about this? <laughs> You throw the questions at the people and see who catches them, yeah? <laughs> um, snowballing, um, what you do, like for example, maybe, maybe you have all the questionnaires here. So like number one, number two, number three. And I give this to her and I say, please do one questionnaire and then give the rest to somebody else. So she does one and then maybe she gives it to him. And then you do one and then maybe you give it to him. Oh. And then he does one and maybe he gives it to him. Oh. So you give the questionnaires to one person, they do it, and they give it to someone else that they know. Like uh, Rolling Jacob. Like what? Rolling Jacob. Rolling? I guess so, yeah. Like the, it, one to the next to one, the next. One by one. One by one, yeah. But you do not tell them who to give it to. So she can give it to anyone. And that he can give it to anyone. Whatever, when he uh, will give me my. Yeah, and then what usually happens is you have um, envelopes, and they put it in the envelope and put it in the post box, mm -hmm. and it comes, you know, posted. They post it back to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you give them the questions and you give them uh, envelopes. They can put it in the envelope and post it. Mm -hmm. Comes back to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So snowball it, it's like what you said, one by one by one by one. Yeah. On the line or the Which one? Online survey. Online could be like this. So for example, you do a survey and maybe you send the link yeah. to someone else to do it. Yeah. yeah. Or um, where else do you think they use this? Uh, yeah. People who will uh, be, uh, become the like the wheel or the wheel, wheel. You know, the two months ago, the picture on the street, some some po some photo, some guy photo. Yeah. You know this one? No. Yeah, you know. So continue explain. Uh, want somebody want to uh, have a? <coughs> Is uh. Present, you know, present. Everybody present the, the pig of the present. Boat. Boat? Yeah, like. Mm. Present. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Choose present. Choose, okay, okay, okay. How do they exchange uh, uh, the word and uh, not choose? Um, Election ah, means yeah. uh, Election. choose president, yeah. Um, I guess this is not the example I was thinking of. I'll give you my example. Um, you sometimes, you know, for example, you have people who use drugs, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, these people, you see them in town, they use drugs and they're very sick. Mm -hmm. You know, they drink a lot, mm -hmm. they use a lot of drugs. So maybe you want to get information from them. But maybe you only know one person. Mm -hmm. You probably don't know anybody who uses drugs yeah. or drinks a lot. But if you know one person, you can ask them to give it to other people mm -hmm. in their drug yeah, other drug users. You know, so you can use this when you only know one person mm -hmm. in the group, and the group is hard to uh, talk to because you know they're uh, they're separate group of people. Mm 
They don't talk to other people, you know. So, for example, people who use drugs, people who drink too much, anything else? Criminals. Criminals, yeah. You could use it for, like, criminals. You give it to one criminal yeah. and they can give it to other people. You understand the idea? Yeah. Now, what's the problem with this one, though? What's the problem with it? Uh, hmm? No, bigger problem. Uh, the data is not true. Correct, maybe the data is not true, but a bigger problem. Hmm? I give the questions to her, mm -hmm. and then she puts them in the, in the bin. Uh, nobody <laughs> can answer it. That nobody answers it. So this is a. Um, could be a problem. Yeah. I, I say the word is water. Huh? Oh, water. Water, yeah. It's V O T E. Voter. Voter. Yes. Voter. Yes. Is it like this? Could be like this. Yeah. I usually think of this more for people who use drugs, criminals, people like this. Mm -hmm. But of course the problem is maybe they <laughs> put it in the bin or they don't give it back to you. Then you have no data. No data. It's a problem. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this one here is you give the questionnaires to one person and they pass it on. Uh, who said one by one? Was it you said one by one? You're there. No, no, somebody said one by one. Anyway, pass it on means the same thing as one by one. You got this? Yeah. So there's one more type here. Cluster sampling. Yeah. I don't think anyone knows this word. Maybe someone does. No, I don't think so. So you use this cluster sampling um, is when you talk to people in groups. So for example, um, you uh, work in a shop like Tesco and you want some information from customers and you see three people shopping together. Maybe you, you and you, you're shopping together, getting some food, and you ask the three of them to do the questionnaire. So clustering is when you ask groups of people. You know, like you go to the cinema and you see five teenagers who are going to see a movie and you ask the five of them to do the questionnaire. Mm -hmm. So clustering is when you talk to people in groups. Group of Chinese people, group of teenagers. You talk to the whole group. Do you understand? Yeah. So this is good because it's very quick. Because if I talk to you three, then I have three people. Or if I talk to you two together, then I have two people. So this one is the same as one, but you talk to groups of people only. Like, for example, groups of two to five people shopping. Something like this.
Got this, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so just now, I think everybody knows this word, population. Maybe not. This means every person. And then sample would just be some people from the population. Okay. So what I would like you to do is each of these um, six sampling techniques, each of these has an advantage and each one has a disadvantage. So I'll do one as an example. Uh, what would be an advantage of number one? Simple random. What is an advantage? What do you think is a good thing about this? What What is good about this? No. no. Could? Well, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, it's really yeah. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you could say... Areas it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the way we can say this simply is, it is fair. Uh, yeah. Is yeah. It fair? Yeah, it can pick anyone. Doesn't care who you pick. Uh, it is fair. It gives you a good picture, a clear picture. Like you said, lots of detail. This is fair. But what's a disadvantage, maybe? Mm, you will with uh, a lot of yeah, so we say that um, it takes a lot of time to do. So it's expensive. It takes a lot of time. It is expensive to do. It is difficult to do. And it takes a lot of time to do. So this is a disadvantage. So as you said, it wastes time. So what I want everybody to try to do is for each of these, give me an advantage and give me a disadvantage. You can write it down. Try your best. Don't worry if you're wrong. Okay. Okay. No, for example here, the, di the disadvantage is um, not the same because this one does not take a lot of time to do. You can do this very quickly, you know, yes, no, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, no. Yeah, so it's not all the same. Does anyone have number two done? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have advantage and disadvantage? Yeah, no okay. Crazy. Good, okay. So one advantage here is this one is very quick to do. Mm -hmm. It's convenient, it's easy, yeah. It's very quick to do, it's easy to do, you know, uh, the, it's just convenient, yeah. yeah. Uh, but what about disadvantage? No, no. Not yeah, sometimes it's not fair. You kind of get a detail. You maybe miss details, yeah. Um, and also, you know, maybe there's no order. You know. But I think the most important thing is it is, it is not fair. So maybe, maybe you miss details. So, for example, if I go yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, 
and maybe I have boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. So if I go yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, then I have no girls because mm-hmm. I just picked all the boys because the boys were sitting beside the girls, yeah. for example. Um, so here maybe you miss details. Yeah? Mm-hmm. But this one is very quick, it's easy to do, and uh, it's cheap. Well, not too cheap. It's a little cheap. Um, okay, so try number three now. Advantage, and then a disadvantage. Got ideas? Have an idea? Hmm? Huh? What's this word? Spell it. P A R G E T E D. Oh, targeted. Yeah. Yes, targeted. You can use this word. Uh, I think, Jason, uh, you would use targeted more for this one, quota, not for number three. Well, you could use it for number three. Okay, do you have an advantage for number three? What's an advantage? It's easy to do, yeah, but what else? Yeah, but what else? Different uh, questions, different, uh, different data. Yeah, we're closer. Continue. Uh, like this idea. Explain more. So that's your question. Uh, explain more. Uh-huh. Keep going. Mm-hmm. No, you almost have it. You almost have it. Yeah. So what this advantage is, is that you have many different uh, opinions and uh, uh, data because you ask from different groups so you have Chinese opinions Korean opinions Japanese opinions so one advantage is you have many different opinions many different data yeah so that's a very good advantage but what about a disadvantage now no, not this one. Well, maybe it's difficult to find the different people. Well, that's true. Okay, so that's one disadvantage. It might be difficult to find the different groups of people. So we'll say difficult to find small groups. Like how many... Well, there's many Chinese people in Ireland. Uh, but how many Japanese people? Maybe not many. Yeah. Uh, another disadvantage? Anyone else had a different one? It could be difficult to choose how. Mm. Because it's um because you say that uh, you pick from different groups yes. and uh, different people. Yes. Different people and different problems. Yes. So you also know how to choose the points. How to choose the points? Mm. I don't know what you mean. Opinions, uh-huh. yeah, I understand. And then you don't know how to choose the opinions. How to choose? Uh, opinions. opinions. Yeah. Well, you choose, you use all the opinions. Mm-hmm. You use everybody. Um, I think another disadvantage would be. Well, that's true. So, but also that um, small groups are um, too many people from small groups. So I'll explain. Um, in Ireland, how many Chinese people are there? There's probably 
How many do you know? Probably 10,000. How many Japanese people? What? 1,000 maybe, okay? So if I have 50 Chinese people and 50 Japanese people, there's going to be more Japanese people uh, than maybe you should have because maybe you should have more Chinese people because there are more Chinese people in Ireland than Japanese people. But if you have 50 and 50, then you have too many Japanese people because there's only 1,000. But Chinese people, maybe there is 10,000, yeah. So what I mean here is, maybe you have too many people from the small group. Mm -hmm. This is one disadvantage. Um, the data is not true. Yeah, the, the data not clear. is not true of the population. Is this what you mean? Yeah. Okay, good, very good, very good. Okay, now on to quota. So give me advantage and give me disadvantage. Okay, so write something down for this. Okay, do you have an idea for uh, April? Maybe you can give me an idea. You've been very quiet. Um, advantage, do you have an advantage for this? Don't be shy. Any ideas? That is okay. <laughs> Explain. No, go on. It's no problem. We are PFE family. We work together. <laughs> we'll wait for you. No problem. Don't be shy. You can start talking. It's okay. You don't know how to say it? That's okay. Oh, that's okay. Do you know disadvantage? If you don't know the answer, that is no problem. No problem at all. Does anybody know advantage or disadvantage? Um, if the one to you are asking me is... They uh, hate mm, not to. Yes, yes, yes. Let's start with advantage. I'll give you the advantage. It is very, very easy to do and quick. You can ask anybody you want to ask, whoever you know, whatever. But the disadvantage, as you said, it is very untrue to the population. If you only ask some men and some women you know, then, you know, that's not going to be a good picture of the population. So it's very untrue, but it's very, very easy. Yeah? 
So, yes, it's very easy to do. Too easy to do. But it's not a good picture. Okay, can we do the next one? Okay, so snowballing. Advantage and then disadvantage. Okay. So, think about advantage. Any advantage we can have for snowballing? Yeah, it's so easy to do, yeah. Um, but I'd like to think of another advantage. No, only one person. The advantage is you only need to know one person, yeah. Another advantage, though? And very useful for a survey underground. Yeah, that's it. So, um, this is good to get information from underground. What do you mean by underground? Explain it to them. Gangster. Gangster, criminals. You can get information from hidden people, people you can't see. Underground people, criminals, drug users, gangsters, you know what I mean? You, yeah. can't, see the you can't see these people, yeah. they live in a different world to you. <laughs> yeah. They don't go to school, you don't see them. So you can get information from underground people. Mafia, yeah. mob, gangsters, criminals drug users, people who drink too much, PFE students, <laughs> underground people. <laughs> uh, you know, um, like you see on the news, there's lots of um, uh, refugees trying to get into Europe from Syria. You know, and these would be underground people because they live in parts of the country you don't see, you know, in uh, refugee camps and things like this. Um, okay, what about disadvantage though? Disadvantage. Nobody can answer. Maybe nobody answers. Why not? Well. Yeah, so <laughs> maybe, um, maybe you get no information. Yeah. This is a big problem. So maybe you get no data. Mm -hmm. This would be a very big problem. Okay. Cluster sample. What is an advantage? So cluster is when you talk to people in groups. So what's an advantage of that? It's quick to do. Easy. And it's quick and easy. It's quick, quick and easy just talk to people in groups, so it's fast. But what's a disadvantage? Yeah, again, if you only talk to people in groups, so when you go shopping, maybe you go shopping with your Chinese friends, so if you talk to people in groups, maybe you have too many Chinese people. Yeah? Uh, so, it is untrue to the population is one disadvantage. But also another disadvantage is maybe some people don't shop in groups and this means you never talk to them. So maybe somebody who lives by themselves, an older person, they don't shop with anyone, they shop by themselves. So you never talk to them. You never get this information. Yeah? Okay, so this is what I want you to do now. No, no. Um, um, in this class, I would like you to do a little bit of a 
survey, questionnaire, some research. So you have many different ways now you can do it. For you, what would be the easiest one for you to do? Talk to people in groups. Yeah, that's good. Or um, what would be the most difficult for you to do? Number one. Yeah, this is too difficult for you to do. Yeah. Um, so what I want to do, um, I think we'll do this. Yeah, we'll do this um, next week as well. But what, um, I have a little homework for you, and I want you to start the homework now for a minute or two. Jason, awake? No, I'm just asleep. Asleep? <laughs> What's dangerous? Uh, no, you're safe, don't worry. I'll protect you. Um, okay, so I want everybody to do a little research for me. So now you have all this vocabulary. Um, for example, I'll give you an example. Maybe I want to know what coffee people like to buy. So, I will survey students in the canteen. I will sample students in the canteen. And I will do cluster sampling. So maybe I see those two students buying coffee together. So I will talk to those two students and I'll ask them, please can you do my questionnaire and the questionnaire would be you know question one are you male or female question two how often do you buy coffee once a day twice a day you know question three what coffee do you like the most hot chocolate mocha you know and so what I want you to do now is I want you to write down what you would like to research and also how, which method you will use to research. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So think of an idea of something you would like to research and write down which method you will use. And then next week we'll make some questions. We'll make a questionnaire. Okay. So can you write that down and then I want to check what you write. Think of something that's interesting to you. <coughs> Number one? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Can you see? Or do I need to turn the light off? It's okay? So I know you already have some idea, so can you write this idea down, and also which message you will use? Any question? Just, yeah, your idea, what you would like to research. about what you want to study maybe. If you want to study business, maybe you can do a business one, like um, something like what, what um, like with the coffee. Don't pick coffee, that's my example. Uh, but you could say what coffee people like to buy, how much they pay for coffee, you know. What's the most they will pay for coffee? The maximum price. Yeah, example, you know, something like this. Yeah. You have something, Andy? Let's see what you got. Where is it? Your idea. Yeah. You write it down? I don't write it down, write it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, write your idea down. You got it, Jeff? I think it's in. Yeah, so write your idea and which sampling. 
You're going to use one. Good, okay, we'll write that down. So, idea equals and sampling equals. I'll help you. Come here. Yeah. I can write here. So I want your idea and I want to know how you will sample. So what do you want to study next year? Will you study business? Will you study science? No problem. What is interesting to you? What do you like? Do you like business? Do you like science? Do you like reading? What do you I like? I love no, I don't like business. You, okay, you don't like business. Good. Okay, what do you like? No, I don't know what I like. You don't know what you like? <laughs> uh, do you like, like TV, internet? What? TV? Yeah, television. Do you like any television shows? Do you like internet? Do you like food? Do you like Chinese food? Do you like Irish food? What things do you like? You must like something. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like? I, I always know I, I don't like something. You only know what you don't like. But, um, I'm not sure. You're not sure? <laughs> okay. Um, okay, then we need to think of something that, um, uh, what about um, something like clothes? Do you like clothes? Clothes? Yeah, clothes. Yeah, clothes, yeah. Yeah. Um, do you? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, where do you shop? Shop. Sure. Yeah, which uh, shop? Shopping. Which shopping, yeah. Where? Shopping center. Shopping center, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so you go, um, you go to a shopping center for clothes, yeah? Mm -hmm. Um, shopping center near the school or far away? Near my home. Near your home, good, okay. Big shopping center, small shopping center? I think it's middle. Middle, fine, okay, good, all right. So maybe you could do something like where do people buy their clothes? You know? So for example, some people maybe buy their clothes from Brown Thomas. Some people buy their clothes from Tesco. Some people buy their clothes Marks and Spencers. Uh, some people buy their clothes at a shopping center. Some people buy it at a clothes shop. Some people don't buy clothes in Ireland and only buy their clothes back in China. You know, you maybe you want to do this. No, not interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why don't you think about this, um, and then next week you can tell me. You need to think about this, I think. Now you have something, do you? What kind of people like sports? Okay, and you'll do this. And what about your one? Where is your type of mobile? Type out mobile phone, and you're sampling. You'll do the stratified. Okay, so you'll take some Chinese, some Korean, some Irish. Good. Okay. You two can help her. Okay. <laughs> Right, what about over here? We got ideas? Yeah. What are you going to do? So you're going to do about junk food. Good, okay. Uh, so your, your idea, you can just write like this. We'll do the questions next week. So your idea is about junk food. What junk food people eat, yeah? And how will you sample? Yeah. Which methods will you use? One, two, three, four, five, six. What one would you use? Number, Number six. Cluster. Yeah, so write down cluster here. Any ideas? Good, okay. So you will do what food people like. And which method will you use? Do you know? Oh, James, then try to use English, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you will ask some, um, you will ask groups of people. Yeah, so you can write here, cluster sampling. Yeah, just write this underneath, yeah. So I will you, I already go to shop. Huh? I already go to shop. What? Um, 